No, I don't waste no time. Well, what's going on, guys, and welcome back to a new video. My name is Joshua Daniel George, for those of you that are new to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to build a £100,000 social media marketing agency from home. Okay, now, for the last few videos, I've been doing like a bit more of a presentation style videos, been getting quite a lot of good feedback from you guys, good responses, so I thought I'll continue um with these type of videos however this one um i want this one to be a bit shorter because uh, the last few videos have been relatively long around the half hour mark um so i want to keep this bit more uh you know a bit shorter a bit more concise a bit to the point you know less fluff more practical advice and basically in this video i'm going to destroy um, a big limit and belief that a lot of you have when starting your own social media agency is that you can't do it from your home or your bedroom or whatever you want, you know. Um, the reason why I started the agency in the first place is because I wanted that triple freedom concept for those of you that have um, watched my free training. You know, I want financial freedom as well as freedom of time and location freedom as well. And social media marketing um, is the business model for me that allows for, you know, triple freedom because uh, there's no ceiling on how much you can earn. You know, you can always get more clients. So, you know, there is that financial freedom because you're not locked into, um, you know, just a regular salary every single month and that is it until you retire. Then obviously you've also got freedom of time because you can automate a lot of the agency so that, you know, you can do things that you are passionate about. You can travel, you can, you know, like, like I said, spend more time with your loved ones, etc. Um, you do not necessarily need to be working in the business, okay? You can work on the business, expanding it, scaling it, putting systems in place, putting the right people in the right positions, etc. You do not need to physically be, um, you know, clocking in at 9 a.m. and clocking out at 5 p.m. Okay, so freedom of time as well. And like I said, um, you know, there's also that location freedom aspect because you can do it wherever you want. If you want to be in a hammock, on the beaches of Bali, or you want to be in the trenches, um, in a attic somewhere, um, you know, in your hometown, that is all possible, okay? So the biggest limit and belief I want to crush with today's video is that you can actually, or that you can't build uh, something like this from home because you absolutely can, okay? So I'm just going to quick recap, uh, quickly recap all of uh, the last video's uh, information and lessons. Obviously, we spoke about like the three things uh, that is needed or like you know what happens where the, the biggest biggest change um, happens so I mentioned the mindset part you know you need to realize that you are a business owner you will need to put in the work you will fail often things will not go your way you'll build on momentum you'll have the highest highs and the lowest lows um, I mentioned systems so you need to put systems in place um, and basically have like a high level overview to see okay what is going on so like i said guys i'm just going to quickly go over these slides from the last lesson if you have not checked it out just pause this video go back to that previous lesson watch that first and then watch this one here um so you know i'm going to basically assume that you guys all understand this if you are continuing uh, with this video so like i said you've got the four pillars of social media marketing each pillar has like systems and processes uh, that you can then analyze and what i highly recommend you guys do is basically have like a high level overview of each individual system. Don't get stressed out, detach emotion from your entire agency. And if you notice, okay, you know, we're not landing enough clients this month, what is the issue? Maybe you're not doing enough outreach. Maybe your sales process needs to be refined. Maybe the results that you're getting aren't as good, whereas your clients are leaving after one month and so on and so forth, okay? So make sure you focus in terms of um, you know, in terms of the agency, focus on a high level and then zoom in on one particular aspect that you want to improve. And then from there, you can get into the nitty gritty. And then I finish off the last lesson by saying all you need is work ethic. So a lot of the gurus out there are calling it a get rich quick scheme, etc. They're basically using that shock factor, the extreme, um, if you will, to basically get you interested in the business model. Um, and I'm here saying that, you know, it is a legitimate business. You will need to put in the work as with any other business. Okay, so now to start off today's lesson, how to build a £100,000 social media marketing agency from home. Now, with a £100,000, what I mean by that is a £100,000 on a yearly basis, which means that you are a six-figure business on a yearly basis. So if you break that down to month by month, that means you are in an 8,333 every single month, whether that's pounds, euros, dollars, yen, whatever. That is how much you're in on a monthly basis. 
uh, monthly recurring revenue to hit that six figure mark okay so if you want to earn eight thousand three hundred and thirty three i'm just going to use pounds for this example uh, every single month you will need at least eight clients if you are charging them a thousand pounds a month or 16 clients if you're charging them 500 a month and so on and so forth okay you can also have eight thousand three hundred and thirty three clients or paying you one pound a month that is also an option i would not recommend it but you know it is a possibility nevertheless so how to build a hundred thousand uh, SMA from home there are basically three aspects um, of this whole business model that um, i think are important takeaways and for you to basically get your head around and understand um, in order for you know you to understand that this is possible and the first thing is that you will need to be offering a service that needs to be remote so if you are offering content creation for example you can't actually you know do this remotely unless you get a uh, let's say you're in the Netherlands and you have a client in the UK for content creation and you have a freelancer in the UK that can physically go there then yes you know it can sort of be possible but I highly recommend picking a service that you can do remotely so for example SEO website design social media management because you don't need to physically take the content yourself you can just get the content of the client social media marketing Facebook ads funnel building SEO consultation even you can do that remotely as well okay so pick a service that is remote and that you don't need to physically be there in order for you to actually do that and there are a lot of a lot of limits and beliefs about this like how does a client know you're doing this and how does a client know how much time you're spending on it but guys it is a value based service the client does not care how many hours you spend on it the client doesn't care if you sleep in till 10 p.m uh, or 10 a.m sorry you know the client doesn't care if you stop at 3 p.m all the client cares about is a return on investment so if you if they spend a thousand pounds on you they throw an additional 500 into ads which means that they've invested 1500 and you get them let's say uh 10k back then they've got a return on investment and they really don't care if you've done that within five minutes or if you spent literally hours uh, every single waking moment of the day trying to make it work if they have got a return on investment they are happy to continue and they do not care how much time you spend on it okay then you will need software or systems to replace the physical, you know, with remote. So again, meetings. How are you going to do meetings if you're working remotely? How are you going to set up the agreements if you know, you're not physically there? How do you sign contracts? How do you take payments? How do you report to the client? What is the communication like if you don't actually physically see the client? How to create the content if you're not there with the client? Guys, for every single one of these uh, points there is a way to replace the physical with remote so in terms of the meetings um, I'll basically explain what I do and what you can also do if you don't want to use the software that I do for some uh, reason so meetings we have all of our meetings online we have them via zoom so we have clients in the US we have clients in the UK we have clients in um, Germany we have a client in Sweden we have clients in Australia and um, to be fair, we've got quite a few clients in the US, actually. I was just thinking of e-com, but we've also got lead generation clients in the US, and we've also got lead generation clients in the UK as well. So all of these clients that we have, we speak to them via Zoom, okay? What you can also do is use Skype. We've got one client that uh, uses Skype. Uh, they're right in the affiliate marketing niche uh, or sphere, and uh, they use Skype for everything. Skype is very popular within the affiliate marketing, so they want to use Skype. Other than that, we use Zoom for absolutely everything, and also Microsoft Teams is gaining popularity as well lately. Um, that is also an option, and I know that a bit more of the uh, corporate clients like to use Microsoft Teams, uh, but for me, Zoom all the way. I use Zoom for almost everything. Then for the agreements, so what we do prior to sending the contract, we send them a breakdown, and um, you know I do not. It's basically a proposal, but I don't like to call it a proposal because it gives them leverage over me. That means that I'm waiting for their approval. With a breakdown, it's more you know it sounds like okay, this is what we've agreed on. I'm going to send it so you can just have one last check over what we are going to discuss, and then from there we can continue. I send that with Panda Doc. You can also use Doc you sign for this. Literally the same thing. Contracts, same thing again. I use PandaDoc. You can also use DocuSign for this. Um, there's a few others, but those are like the two main um, software that people use for this. You send the contract virtually. So it's an e-contract. You send that virtually to the client. The client signs virtually as well. You sign virtually. The, the contract is stored in the cloud. Nothing needs to be printed. Nothing needs to be physically signed because it's all done and dusted online. Okay. Then in terms of payments, no wire transfer, no checks need to be sent. 
Uh, not unlike that, you can send a invoice with Stripe or with PayPal, and then you can basically collect the uh, the money up front. Again, another thing that I get a lot of questions about: Do you send a uh, invoice? At the end of the month, no, I send it up front. I do not start work until the money is paid. Okay. Um, and in terms of uh, what was another question about that, um, and that I always get in terms of the ad spend, that was it. So, in terms of the ad spends, I do not uh, pay for the ads, I do not charge for the ads. The ad spend is basically charged on their credit card. So, they attach their credit card to the ad account. I get paid for my time and value. The uh, ads get paid by the credit card of the client, and that is how basically that is uh, done. Then, in terms of reporting, I use Excel for the nitty gritty. I've got Google Slides if I want to quickly explain something, but nine times out of ten, I'll just send a loom of my Excel sheet as well as the business manager. Then, in terms of communication, you've got Slack, you've got Skype, you've got email, you've got WhatsApp. What we do now is um, actually we've got Asana. For the internal team so for me and my team we use asana for everything um then we use email and um yeah we use email for the clients and then we've also got one or two clients on whatsapp which in my opinion is fine we've tried slack in the past and a lot of our clients um, especially the lead generation clients they don't use slack which means that we will send a message on slack we'll then follow up with them on email to check their slack and then we'll send the whatsapp to follow up with the email it's, it was just too messy and yes it is probably the official way of doing it to have all of the communication on slack but i've just noticed that uh, in practicality email just works best for our clients and we've got a few of our clients that we've just got a close relationship now nowadays with um you know we send each other memes and stuff like that all that goes via whatsapp then in terms of content like i said you don't need to physically be there uh, to shoot the content what we do is we request content of the clients via google drive we will then incorporate some of our own content so we've got an in-house graphic designer that will uh, basically use the content that we receive with some stock images, you'll you know basically create a almost like a content soup of uh, you know a combination of everything all together, and then you'll basically you know post all of the content on the socials for the social media management clients, or you will send us ads, uh, ad creatives for the social media uh, for the Facebook advertisements. Okay, so that is it in terms of software and systems. You do not need to physically be there for any of the following. Then moving on, there is one thing that I do need to explain. Uh, this is the last point actually. And that you do need to set expectation with these clients. So a lot of the clients, especially now where, um, you know, I'm not going to call it, I'm not going to say it because obviously for the um, monetization of YouTube, but, you know, the C word, the, uh, the pandemic that has been going on lately, um, a lot of businesses have needed to go on to a, like, sort of like a virtual business where they will, um, you know, basically have people working from home, people communication via Zoom, etc. So it is almost becoming normal now, which is great. But a lot of the businesses still think that you are physically coming in or anything like that. So you need to set the expectations right away from minute one within the, the first discovery call even, how it works and how you uh, basically you know go about your business. So for that, what I would do is basically set the expectations in the discovery call. So usually I will start the discovery call by asking a few questions. Then when I think, okay, this is the right fit for me, I can definitely help these people or this business. I will say, okay, that sounds good. I can definitely help you with that. Do you mind if I explain about us and what we do? And if they say yes, then I'll say, we are a digital marketing agency based in Amsterdam. I am based in the Netherlands, uh, but we also have a team that is based in the UK. We all work, work remote and we all stay in close contact with a virtual platform called Asana or Slack or whatever you want which we will also give you access to for any questions and or feedback that you might have. Like I said, we actually use email for our clients, but that is something that you can say if you have Slack. Our area of expertise is helping e-com stores uh, basically you know, grow their business by increasing the return on ad spend and leveraging Facebook uh, remarketing and retargeting. I typically work with larger e-com stores just like yours, and I help them tap into new revenue streams by utilizing the platforms like Facebook and Instagram. Okay, so you can basically tailor as you can see, you know, I've added a city, country, location. You know, you can basically fill in the blanks for yourself. And that is basically how I set the expectations right away that we work virtually. We are a virtual agency. And what I also like to do is just flip the script. You know, I basically make it sound like we do this for their benefit. Because if you have a physical location, which means that you have physical office space, that means that you have 
overhead costs. That means that you have, um, you know, you have physical staff, you have physical equipment, you know, materialistic, your know, possessions. You have desks, you have printers, you have, you know, expensive coffee machines, etc. And in order for you to basically be able to afford all that, you will need to increase your retainer. And you know, that way, because you're working remote, you can also flip the script and basically say, you know, that is the reason why. We offer a high quality service for a relatively low price, which is a thousand a month because we don't have the expensive overhead costs that other agencies do have. Okay, so that is it in terms of today's video. Like I said, I wanted to keep this one a little bit shorter than the other videos. And uh, before we actually finish off, I just want to show you a quick testimonial from Asma, who has been in uh, Lifestyle Design 2.0 and uh, has been seeing great results and basically wants to give it two cents on my program uh you know so before we finish off i just want to quickly show you guys uh, what she had to say i'm just giving a quick shout out to joshua and the lifestyle design mastery course so for me it's been you know it's a fantastic course it's basically got all the blueprints laid out you know within my first couple of weeks of even you know utilizing it i was able to secure myself a, a trial client and social media management so that was a good you know, an amazing thing considering the fact that coming from where I come from before, I was struggling and not knowing what on earth to do and going into the Lifestyle Design Master course was just a game changer for me. So for anyone who is perhaps unsure or doubting, uh, honestly, like I wouldn't hesitate to join it. If anything, I wish I'd joined a lot sooner. And not just the course itself, you get that ongoing support as well with the Facebook group, you're part of that community. It's an epic community, fantastic community. And for me, that's definitely like, you know, that is, the for me, that's like, out of, even the course is always fantastic, but that on top of it is just, you know, it's, it, you know, it, it should be more than what it's worth, basically, because that is like the ongoing endless support. It's just like, it, it really helps, you know, it really does help. So definitely, anyone's thinking about it, please go ahead. It has helped me, and I'm confident it will help you, as long as you implement Yeah, that sounds good. And again, you know, like I've mentioned in a few of these testimonial videos, it works okay this course program you know the with the coaching etc it 100 percent works but you will need to put in the work you will need to put in the effort because you are starting a legitimate business the good thing about this testimonial or what i like about this testimonial is the fact that she mentions the community aspect and the support so that is both you know two things that you get with the program you get personal access to me via whatsapp and you also get access to the whatsapp mastermind group and you also get the weekly group live coaching calls on zoom every single sunday uh, 7 30 p.m gmt plus uh, plus one and um you know like i said all that is basically what i try and utilize to differentiate my program from all these other uh, gurus that are lashing out courses nowadays um with my course and my program you actually get my you know physical support and what i literally do is i step into your agency and help you build up your agency from the inside out and with that said i am going to wrap up this video here thank you so much for watching for those of you that still have questions make sure to leave them in the comments down below or what you can do if you want a quicker response you can request access to the free lifestyle design facebook group um i am very active in there at least once a day i will go in and try and answer as many questions as possible um so you can request access to that it's completely free and you also get a free social media marketing beginner course so uh, make sure you do check that out if you are serious about starting but with that said i'm going to wrap up this video now thanks for watching like share comment subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video